Hi guys, this is Elias and I hope you're fine and doing well. In this video, I will tell you how you can add Google Analytics to your WordPress site as quickly as you can. In order to understand Google Analytics whenever you try to add, it's actually complicated to understand how it works and how it can be implemented in your WordPress site so that it can start collecting data. So it's very easy, you just need to follow the steps that you need to understand in order to integrate your website with Google Analytics. So here we go. So this is my site where I want to add Google Analytics. So I have already logged into my WordPress site. Actually, this is WordPress site. So I have logged into my WordPress site. So whatever the site, it doesn't matter. You just need to follow the steps. First, let me open Google Analytics. Open analytics.google.com or you can search on Google as well. So it's asking for some information and what you have to do. I have a website with Twing with this. Its name is Twing with this. So I will use some information that you need to follow. So the name of the website is Twing with this. I will enter the same name in my case. It is it's actually account name and there's some options you need to check and uh, it has already been checked three so I will also check this and and let's go next so it's asking for the property name what is property name that if you have the account name and you can add multiple properties in an account and you can get multiple accounts in Google Analytics as I have just created earlier so I will use the same property name I'm doing with this so you can set the reporting time zone in my case I will select Pakistan and it's by default plus 5 you can also select the currency in my case i will use us dollar and click next so it's asking for some more information and you can select about your website in my case it's actually a blog website so i will enter small and above it's asking for industry so in my case add it's a blog based website i will select internet and telecom and it depends on the category of your website you can go with the category of the website what is the niche of your website you can select from there so below down I have already selected this small because this is the option only available. So next is asking why I want to use Google Analytics. Check what suits for your website and what's your requirements with Google Analytics. So I have checked according to my requirements and let's create. You can read all of the things. Go down, check and I accept the terms and condition. So now my property has been created. So regarding the email communication, you can check if it suits for you. Click save. So far, I have added the property in my Google Analytics account. So what I have to do, I have to add my website where I want to get the data from. Now I need to add my website so that I can start receiving data from my website. So for now, I want to add my website. Click web. And now you have to paste the website. Let me copy and paste it here. And now it's asking for the stream name. In stream name, you can add the name of your website and now click create stream. So far, I have completed every step. Now, just you need to add the code to your WordPress site or your website. How you can done this? Go down and you will see the option of view tag instructions. Click there. It may appear automatically when you completed the earlier step. So I want to add now manually so that you can understand better. So this is the code which I need to copy. I am copying the code and now let me paste it to my WordPress site. You need to paste the code into your WordPress site in the header file. So I have a plugin which I have already installed and the name of the plugin is WP headers and footers which allows me to paste the code under my headers. So let me go down and in my header script, I will add my new code and it's the code of Google Analytics and let me save it if you do not have this plugin you can also download it from plugins area so the code has already been put into my website and now let me verify that if google analytics has started saving data of my website and go to the home tab no data is saved from your website yet so in order to verify that if i have done everything in a right way it's actually zero it's mean that how many users are visiting my website in real time I will go to my website and refresh this page and let me refresh this because I have already refreshed. Let me refresh this once again and you can see that it's now one coming from my country because I have visited my website. So this verifies that everything we have done so smoothly. So this is how you can add Google Analytics to your WordPress site or your website and I have just discussed the way that is important for you to done this process. 
i hope you like this video if you really like thumbs up for this video and do not forget to subscribe and click bell icon for more awesome videos like that